so what you are doing is to share with the students and, uh, and to the people this curiosity that you have. Yeah. And I think that in Mexico and in many Latin America, in many parts of the world, we actually put much more emphasis on science and the curiosity of minds like yours in public education. Yeah. Uh, how can we, do you have think about doing something with, with the schools or whatever? It's very hard because um, I'm a member of the Animal Behavior Society. In fact, I'm the chair of the Education Committee of the Animal Behavior Society. And we have talked the about Animal the Animal Behavior Society, where is it located? Oh, the Animal Behavior Society is an organization of scientists studying animal behavior in the United States, Canada, Mexico, Central America, South America. Okay. Our conference this coming June is in Pironopolis, Brazil, and I'm very excited wow. to be going. This is a kind of ethologist thing? Yes, ethology is one approach to the study of animal behavior. There is also an organization called the International Ethological Society, okay. which is looking at this particular pr approach. Ethological is a, an observational approach. Okay. And really, yes, I'm an ethologist. society in this organization that you have you have like a special or particular emphasis of how to promote science how to help kids to have this curious mind or something like that yes if you looked up our website which I believe is www.animalbehavior.org you would find information about how to go to graduate school in science, you would find information for the general public about things that people have found lately in animal behavior, information about our conference. You would find many things there. I will look at it. And, look at and it. what it's for me like amazing is the combination of your background, you know, biology and psychology, yep. which, which is a very rich combination, a very unique combination. Yep. What could you tell us about that, uh, well, that richness to understand and define a problem basically, basically in terms of behavior, behavior right. of animals and human beings? I think you're right, and it wasn't on purpose that I got this background, it was accidental. Right. But I think you're right because the biological background has brought me the understanding of the animal and the ecosystems and the adaptiveness of the behavior. And the psychological approach has brought me the tools to ask specific questions and the whole background of, okay, we know we're intelligent, we know we have consciousness, we know we have personalities. Gee, can I take the psychological questions and bring them to an animal that usually only biologists think about? And I think you're right that the richness of this background is very good. It takes a long time to get that kind yeah. of background, but sure. I'm glad I have it. No, and we're very glad to have had a chance to interview you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in Puebla. Thank you. And I don't know if you want to say something else, but yeah, our quote is don't believe everything you think. And this year is re-evolution. Could you say us something? What comes to your mind if you're talking to the audience and I tell you don't believe everything you think about? Slimy octopuses. Okay. Great. What do you think we believe that we think and it's not true? Oh, um, in Bermuda, they call the octopuses scuttles because, in fact, when they're out hunting, they crawl across the bottom scuttling. Okay. And they say, scuttle's going to reach up, going to grab you, going to pull you down, going to suck your blood. <laughs> Don't believe that. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Jennifer. It was a pleasure to talk with you. Muchísimas gracias por compartir con nosotros esta entrevista con la persona que tiene la curiosidad por esencia que tiene la curiosidad por esencia y que con base en ello se ha dedicado a entender la inteligencia, la inteligencia humana y la inteligencia de los animales, sobre todo a través del pulpo. Y en un año, en un año que vamos a celebrar, que vamos a festejar el nacimiento de Darwin después de 200 años y 150 años de su gran obra del origen de las especies, de manera resumida así se intitula, pues bueno, es un honor tenerla aquí en su programa La Ciudad de las Ideas, 
un programa, un proyecto realizado por Poder Cívico. Gracias por estar con nosotros. ¿Qué relevancia puede tener en un mundo interconectado el que los pulpos tengan o no tengan inteligencia y que el juego, lo lúdico, tome un papel fundamental para poder evaluar lo mismo? No olviden, 6, 7 y 8 de noviembre, Puebla, el Festival Internacional, segundo gran festival internacional de la Ciudad de las Ideas. Quédese con nosotros.